Hello everyone, this is Bacholi with Archeon. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the thrusters. So this game has uh, a lot of different ways to, uh, you know, propulsion, but uh, thrusters are fun. Uh, we're going to use the big thruster, because it's just more fun this way. And uh, the big turbo pump, and the big fluid tank, right? We're going to use methane, because it's simpler. So we're going to put uh, one here, one here. We're going to fill that one with liquid oxygen and that one with liquid methane, right? Uh, we're going to add two turbo pumps. Uh, the blue is the input, the red is the output. All right, so we're going to put them here. And um, uh, we're going to paint them to, uh, you know, to know which one is which. So we're going to select uh, cyan for the uh, oxygen, for this one, with this one. And we're going to select uh, orange for the fuel. Right? Now we're going to connect them. Right? We need fluid pipes for that. So this, uh, this is the one right here. Um, so let's connect the oxygen with the oxygen pump and the uh, fuel and the fuel pump here right uh, we're gonna have to add the thruster as well right so let's uh, let's just put it here the thruster is special because you can actually put it into a wall right so if we add like uh, some pieces of some blocks here you can make it go through so if you hold shift it will actually go through it and it comes out the other side right so this is practical. We're gonna leave it this way, right? Let's turn the light, see it a little bit. This thruster is basically just a combustion chamber and a uh, aerospike uh, radial uh, nozzle here. So it's very efficient into converting uh, combustion into thrust. It's uh, very, very efficient into doing that. And also it can gimbal. Right, so this aerospike nozzle can gimbal. It can basically uh, point. Uh, it, it can rotate in uh, about ten degrees in each direction to help steer uh, spacecraft. Right, so that's practical. Now the uh, uh, this one actually requires a uh, high voltage uh, connection because it also has uh, ignition uh, spark plugs basically uh, to ignite the, the fuel uh, and oxidizer mixture. Right. These also require high voltage, and this data port is to uh, ignite and control the um, uh, the gimbal. Right. So uh, let's do this. Let's uh, let's add a high voltage battery because we're gonna need that. Uh, let's just put it here for now, and let's connect the turbo pumps to the battery, as well as this uh, uh, thruster. And we can also connect uh, the fluid to the thruster. It doesn't matter which one, as long as both fuel and oxidizer actually end up in this uh, combustion chamber, right? Uh, now, how do we control that? How do we turn this on, right? So we have fuel. Uh, we have our oxidizer here. We have the fuel here. We have the fuel uh, fuel pumps here. Turbo pumps. We have batteries. Well, we're gonna need some way to control that. Uh, typically, we're gonna use a computer uh, to, because we need to vary the specific ratio. But it's gonna be more fun this way with just a throttle lever. You know why not? So let's just put the throttle levers uh, uh, here. Let's uh, let's put one here and one here, right? And connect these. Uh, let's connect this one to. Uh, the fuel and this one to the oxidizer, right? Um, so we can see its value here. And uh, next, we need a button for the ignition, right? So let's do that as well. Let's just take a simple button, right? Let's put it here. And we're going to connect the button to the uh, data port here, right? So now everything is wired, right? And we're ready to go. And we're gonna make sure we are properly anchored to the ground because otherwise it's just gonna take off, right? 
let's just say this is a powerful truster. It can produce almost two mega newton of thrust. Just this one truster, right? So it's, it's quite uh, powerful for its size. So let's, uh, let's start this thing up. Uh, let's first start with the oxidizer. So this this one here. We're gonna uh, let's just aim at that. You see the flow here and we're gonna hold F with the throttle and move the mouse a little bit get some flow going right? uh, we're gonna get, uh, I don't know, let's, let's use uh, 9 kilograms per second of flow here to start it and let's use, uh, uh, let's do the fuel uh, we don't want that much fuel, we want uh, about half here to start a little bit less and we can try to ignite can increase the power. We're going to start with increasing the uh, oxygen flow. tutorial. See you in the next one.